Hello everyone, this is Yamin and today I am going to introduce you to a new package called Genesis. Now, this package Genesis can be used as an alternative for Laravel Breeze. So first of all, let me just show you the UI design for the Genesis. So this is the home base for the Genesis and here you can see login and sign up option. We have the light on off option over here and if i now click sign up it will take us to the sign up page sign up page will look like this and here if you click logo it will take us back to the home page and if i now click login uh, the login page will look like this so right now i'm going to show you how you can install genesis in your laravel project and we'll also talk a little bit about genesis as well okay so right now let's just directly go to the documentation so this is the documentation uh, i'll give this link in the description so that you can just directly come over here and this package genesis is created by uh donny lee uh the spawn devdojo.com and if you now just go down uh, there you can see that uh this genesis package use the port and folio files so we'll talk about this later so let's go down and let's just see how we can install the Genesis package in the Laravel project. So first of all, we need to create a fresh Laravel project. So right now, let's go create a fresh Laravel project. Uh, so we'll just open a command prompt over here. And let me just zoom in. Let's see over here, Laravel new lesser project name will mean Lara underscore Genesis presenter. So it will create a Laravel project for us. So right now we we'll just fast forward the video. So there you can see the project creation is complete. So let's go to the project directory. We say here CD Lara underscore Genesis. Let's run the project PSP artisan serve. And let's just say this here is enter. So this is the first created Laravel project. So right now, in order to install uh, Genesis, after creating the Laravel project, we need to run this command, composer require devdozo slash genesis dev main. So we just copy this command, and right now let's go back to our project directory again. Uh, our project is this on Lara Genesis. Let's open another command prompt here. Let me just zoom in, uh, let's paste the command, composer require devdozo slash genesis step main press enter so this will install the necessary package for genesis so this command is done so so after this command uh, we need to copy this command con psp addition ui genesis so we we'll copy this then then paste the command over here so this will uh, install the ui for genesis psp addition ui genesis press enter Genesis starter kit also installed. So we need to run this font npm install then npm run it. So we just say over here npm install. And once npm install is done, uh, we need to run this command npm run dev. But instead of npm run dev, let's just go with npm run build. Okay. npm run build. Okay, this command is done as well. So after that, we need to just write one more command, which is PHP addition migrate. Because all those commands created a few database files. So let me just open the project using Sublime Text. Uh, open folder, new volume A, and our project name was Lara underscore Genesis, this one. So as you can see Lara Genesis, this is our project. So right now we we'll just directly go to the dot env file. And if we go to the dot env file, here you can see uh, by default the database name is Lara Genesis. So let me just copy this and let's go and create a database. So for it uh, we we'll just click over here, go we'll come to our PC my admin, and then click new, create database. Create okay, database is created. So, right now we'll just run this command php artisan migrate. Press enter and some table is migrated. So, right now we now refresh over here 
and there you go some table is migrated over here and right now uh, if we just refresh our browser over here refresh our project there you can see that design changes over here we have home page about page and we have login and sign up page we have the dark mode and light mode so let's go and try to sign up let's click sign up let's give a name yamin yamin and gmail.com and let's get the password then confirm password register and once you register you will get a view like this and there is also a edit page option which is like this and uh, obviously there is also back mode available and let's just log out from there and over here in the home page here you can see view git repo view the docs if we just click over here it will take you the git repo page okay so there is one more thing and that is power up and uh, i think it will let you integrate the uh, like automatic block interface in your project uh, but i haven't tried out yet if you want you can try it by yourself uh, so let me just show you one more thing and that is uh, this genesis uses uh, folio files more than folio so basically uh, what folio does is that okay let me just show you uh, directly uh, if you now go to the route then web.php there you can see that there is no route for register page or the login page but uh, we are still able to go to the login page or register page and you can see we are still able to come to the login page because in Laravel folio we do not uh, need to use route strictly we can still uh, follow the MVC pattern of Laravel, but if you want, um, without mentioning the route, you can call other pages. Uh, for example, let me just show you. If we go to resource, views, and then uh, pages, inside pages, we have auth, and we have login.blade.php, uh, which is this one here, you can see auth slash login inside pages. So whatever file or folder we have in the pages folder, we can just directly go to that uh, certain page. Uh, for example, here you can see login.blade.php. If we just uh, rename it, uh, let's say instead of login, let's say sign in.blade.php. Press enter. And uh, if we now refresh, there is the login page. Uh, but let's just press enter but right now if you now click login just notice over here at the URL it is now signing so basically uh, using folio without mentioning the route we can just uh, directly go to the on from one page to another page and there is also validation rule for signing or login base or register base as you can see if you go to the uh, for example dashboard page then index.blade.php uh, there you can see there is um, a middleware is mentioned over here it means without login uh, no one is ever to come to the dashboard page so using for you you can just go to different pages without mentioning any route but if you do not want you do not have to follow this you can just follow your laravel mpc pattern if you just prefer that way so yeah i just wanted to show you this so yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope this tutorial was useful to you. You will learn something new and uh, just try out uh, Genesis. I think some of you might like this. Make sure to subscribe if you just learn something new. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.